We're out early. What's the matter? Did the Dingles give Debbie a hard time yesterday? He offers it. She loved it. I know what you must be thinking. You're not surprised. That's where she belongs. Of course not. Debbie's your daughter. You don't think I know what that means? But she's also Kane's daughter. And don't you think I know what that means? It isn't something you can keep from Chris. A secret like that's like a... a cancer in a family. I know. Yeah, me too. Well, then, for goodness sake, tell him. He's your husband. He has a right to know. Well, it's not going to stay a secret for much longer. Shadrach knows. How? Somehow, in his drink-sodden state, even he managed to put two and two together. And I can't see him keeping his gob shut. Well, it's irrelevant. Not to me, it isn't. It's irrelevant because your relationship with Chris should not depend on what Shadrach does. Chris is prepared to commit to Debbie and he's doing it for you. You have to be absolutely straight with him. And what do you think he'll do, eh? Charity, isn't it more important what you do? Our school. Oh. You're not scared of horses, then? That ain't enough in me. Oh, that's good. Well, I used to be scared, but once you get your dead close up, you're dead gentle, aren't they? Don't hurt a fly, would you? I'll tell you what I'll do. If you do OK with your riding lessons... I will. We'll see about getting a pony for you. Honest? A real one? No. One with wheels. So I can get. Never guess what I'm getting. What's that then? Mm. You just don't want to go spoiling her, that's all. Yeah, it's compulsory in these parts for all nice young ladies. A pony. Thought you'd be pleased. I am. It's great. And she definitely is. But? <sighs> I'm worried it might all be going a bit too fast. Zoe's been bending your ear again. No, not really. She's only looking out for you. <laughs> I haven't changed that much. Looking out for me, too. Debbie's happy, makes you happy, which makes me happy. If everything was always this simple. It's not simple. Seems pretty straightforward to me. Her father, he's not dead. Not dead? What do you mean, he's not dead? I've always known. So why have you told me that he was dead? I didn't think it mattered. We're talking about adoption. Yeah, and that's why I'm telling you now. So you've been lying to me? Look, I didn't plan any of this, Chris. Do you really think I just expected her to turn up after all these years? And I certainly didn't think you'd want to make her part of the family. You're making it sound if somehow I'm to blame. No, of course I'm not. Then why bring it up now? I've come with reasons. Well, that really isn't good enough, is it? Not when we're talking about the most important decision we're likely to make. Adoption? Why now? It's Cain. Cain? Cain Dingle. He's Debbie's father. This time I thought I was really doing the right thing. You are! Putting the happiness of a kid I hardly know above mine. Then I find it's my own wife. My own wife I hardly know. You were just thinking about the adoption for Debbie's sake. I actually thought it would make us more of a family. Oh. She's in on it, is she? Some little scam to hit me for money. She's a kid! She's a dingle! Through and through. Chris, she doesn't know. I don't believe you. Oh, I must be a total imbecile for taking anything you say at face value. For blithely pressing on while your family of layabouts snigger. Get in there, our charity. Rip the cripple off. No, Chris, no, oh, no! Well, then again, I can't really criticise your lot. Even my own sister was bedding you when I thought we were betrothed. Oh, I know, I'm sorry, it's an old-fashioned word, uh, as in believing in loyalty, honesty, love. I do love you! You don't know what it means. Have you seen Charity? Never again, I'll be too soon. What's the matter? Just told you, then. You knew? Is it just me? Is it? Is it just me that makes it all right for people to walk all over me? I am 
actually thought that you had a right to know. Oh, how considerate. So how come you didn't tell me? Because I didn't feel it was my place. I thought that if I said anything, I might make things worse. How could it be worse? Look, Zoe wanted me to tell you. And if she hadn't, would you have told me? Or would you have waited till I overheard it in the wall pack? Or maybe Viv Hope could have triumphantly announced it when I bought some stamps? Better go and tell Debbie. The adoption's off. No, Chris. Well, I'm not telling her I'm being painted the villain. I'm the innocent victim in all this. Debbie is. And whose fault is that? Don't you think I know that, Chris? Hey, Zoe, I've been looking for you. You know about horses. Uh, I suppose a bit. Mm, get her, she's a vet. Have they told you I'm getting a horse? No. I want to ask you what's the best sort. Look, Debbie... I know it's not definite, not till I've done my lessons. So you give me some advice. Yeah, come on. Um, your mum and Chris have got some stuff to talk about. What do you think of this grey spotted one? Dappled. Nice, isn't it? You know this is going to destroy her. She could have had everything, like you. Still, the chances are she wouldn't have appreciated it. No wonder Dingle smirks every time he sees me. You're imagining it. I don't know, not at all. I suppose he's he's got one up on me. He doesn't know. <laughs> of course he doesn't. I never told him. Chris, he never knew he'd got me pregnant. You mean you've kept it a secret for 13 years? Yeah. Why? Well, I would have thought that was obvious. Nothing's obvious from where I'm sitting. What I thought was the cast iron certainty of our relationship that counts for nothing anymore. I was wrong and I'm sorry. I made a mistake, Chris Wright, a big mistake when I was a kid. I regretted it then and I, d I don't know, I just tried to block it out. You know, it makes me want to be sick even thinking about it, so how could I tell you? But it's happened and it's all coming home to roost. I don't know, maybe I deserve it. But you and Debbie don't, I know that. I was only 13. Did you love him? <laughs> I was 13, Chris! I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> It'll wipe that smirk off his face. Tell Kane? Yeah. He has a right to know. What, tell him he's Debbie's father? Mm-hmm. Before anybody else does. You don't think things are bad enough? I'm doing it to stay in control. No, 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 no. To regain the control you lost after you were rather too free with your favours. I'm not going to wait here till he turns up next week or next year making some grand pronouncement. Well, Chris, you might never find out. Well, I'm not going to be wasting my life wondering. But you know what he's like. I couldn't care less. He's a psycho! Do you think that I've coped with this? and achieved all this, that I'm worried about what he might do? She's not bad, Zoe. I thought she was a bit of a stiff at first, but she's dead cool. She knows loads about horses. Dead excited, Ta. Night, thanks, it's gonna be brilliant. Mm.